Worldview Enterprises, Inc., doing business as Worldview, is a private American near space exploration and technology company headquartered in Tucson, Arizona, founded with the goal of increasing access to and the utilization of the stratosphere for scientific, commercial, and economic purposes. Worldview was founded and incorporated in 2012 by a team of aerospace and life support veterans, including Biosphere 2 crew members Jane Pointer and Tabor McCallum, Dr. Alan Stern, the principal investigator of the New Horizons mission to Pluto, and former NASA astronaut Mark Kelly. The company designs, manufactures and operates stratospheric flight technology for a variety of customers and applications. The company operates via two primary business segments, Stratolite Uncrewed Flight Systems and Voyager Human Spaceflight Systems. The Stratolite The Stratolite is a remotely operated, navigable, uncrewed stratospheric flight vehicle designed and engineered to station keep over customer specified areas of interest for long periods of time, days, weeks, and months. The Stratolite uses proprietary altitude control technology to rise and lower in the stratosphere, harnessing the natural currents of varying stratospheric winds to provide point to point navigation and loitering. The Stratolite operates at altitudes up to 95,000 feet 30 kilometers, with a payload capacity of 50 kg and 250 W of continuous power to payloads. The Stratolite is primarily used for applications including remote sensing, communications, and weather. Topic. Voyager human spaceflight experience The Voyager human spaceflight experience is under development with the goal of carrying private individuals to approximately 100,000 feet kilometers above Earth inside a pressurized spacecraft lofted by a helium-filled high-altitude balloon. The flight vehicle will carry six passengers and two crew on an approximately five-hour flight from liftoff to touchdown. The flight experience is intended to give passengers a wide-angle and long-duration view of the curvature of the Earth against the blackness of space. The pressurized spacecraft is planned to be outfitted with a restroom, minibar, and communications capabilities for communicating with family and friends below in real time. Tickets are being offered for $75,000 with a $7,500 deposit. History During a test flight in June 2014 Worldview successfully deployed and remotely navigated a parafoil back down to Earth from an altitude of 50,000 feet. An October 2015 test flight brought a 10% scale passenger capsule to over 100,000 feet altitude. A full-scale test is anticipated to follow. A September 2016 flight carried a small, unmanned, scientific payload to an altitude of over 100 100,000 feet on behalf of the Southwest Research Institute through NASA's Flight Opportunities Program. By January 2016, Worldview was planning to operate commercial flights from Spaceport Tucson beginning in 2017. In April 2016, Worldview announced that, following $7 million in Series A financing, it had raised an additional $15 million in Series B. Funding. In June, 2017, Worldview completed a 17 hour flight featuring a KFC product, though a balloon leak cut it short from the intended four day duration. It was Worldview's first flight in which a solar array was properly pointing at the Sun. 
In July, 2017, Worldview completed a 27-hour flight. In October, 2017, Worldview completed a first flight from Tucson, Arizona, staying aloft for five days, the longest duration of any Worldview flight to date. On December 19, 2017, a balloon exploded, causing tremors in the Tucson area that shook for over half a mile. In March 2018, Worldview announced that it had raised an additional additional $26.5 million in Series C funding. Topic. Key people Jane Pointer, co-founder and CEO, was one of the original eight Biosphere 2 crew members. After two years inside Biosphere 2, a three-acre, hermetically sealed environment in the Arizona desert, she went on to co-found Paragon Space Development Corporation, which designs and manufactures life support technologies rated for extreme environments, including outer space. Paragon has supplied hardware to more than 70 spaceflight missions, including ones to the International Space Station and Mir. Tabor McCallum, co founder and CTO, was also one of the original Biosphere 2 crew members and went on to co found Paragon Space Development Corporation alongside Jane Pointer. Tabor McCallum was named Popular Science Inventor of the Year in 2008 for a toxic water diving suit that helps hazmat divers safely navigate contaminated waters. Alan Stern, co founder and chief scientist, was appointed NASA's Associate Administrator for the Science Mission Directorate, essentially NASA's top ranking official for science, in April 2007. In this position Stern directed a US$4.4 billion United States dollars organization with 93 separate flight missions and a program of over 3,000 research grants. He is also the principal investigator of the New Horizons mission to Pluto and the chief scientist at Moon Express. Mark Kelly, Worldview's director of flight crew operations, is a retired NASA Space Shuttle commander and U.S. Navy test pilot. During his tenure with NASA, he piloted two Space Shuttle flights and commanded two others, including Space Shuttle Endeavour on its final mission. As of 2018, Kelly is co-founder and strategic advisor, Ron Guerin, chief pilot for robotic flight operations and upcoming human spaceflights, a retired NASA astronaut and fighter pilot. Topic. See also Commercial Spaceflight Federation Inspiration Mars Paragon Space Development Corporation Zero Two Infinity, another near-space balloon tourism company